What's going on? What's going on? How you guys feeling? Coming at you uh, with an evening show, of course. I don't have, um, it's not morning time because I didn't have time to do it this morning. But um, interesting topic, man. One of my dudes on my friends list uh, put up a post that was basically pro MGTOW. Now, he's not per se a MGTOW guy. He doesn't say MGTOW per se, but a lot of his beliefs coordinate with MGTOW. Me and him took the red pill around the same time. I think um, I took the red pill, I want to say, when I was about like, jeez, it might have been 19, 20. I got my wake-up call early. But um, me and him, you know, we basically used to hang out when we were younger and shit. So this dude basically says, you know, um, he puts up a post about uh, Layla Rashawn. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Layla Rashawn is, she's an actress, um, black actress. She was in the movie Waiting to Exhale, which came out in, I think, 1995. I remember when that movie came out and all these girls were imitating the Waiting to Exhale girls. It was the biggest pain in the ass for men in the history of, 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 of chick flicks. That was a pain in the fucking ass. But anyway, he puts up this post about, uh, about her and how she was so hot when she was, like, I want to say in her 20s. This is like 1995-96 when she when the movie had came out. And then now she looks a mess. And the crazy thing about it is like she's very overweight now. She's like her face is completely unattractive now. And a lot of women were pissed off with the post. They were like, yo, this is complete bullshit. And he, all he basically said was, you know, it's funny how women have a double standard. They want a man with a, a man over six feet tall. He's gotta have money. Six packs ab abs, nice car, nice crib, all this other stuff. And then um, when they get older and get less attractive, men are basically saying, yeah, we want a woman who's in her 20s, really good in bed, energetic, youthful, br beautiful, pretty, all this other stuff. And then it's, oh, you're being superficial. Like, and, and the crazy thing is, they proved him right because they jumped on the post. They were saying, oh, she has some kind of disease, lupus, all this other stuff, which is, you know, okay, I'll, okay, I got you, but that still doesn't explain why there's a double standard when men have standards and women don't, like, they completely avoided everything else, of course, because deflection is what they do, and he decided to specifically attack one thing, which was the fact that she had a disease, so you're gonna not acknowledge anything else he said in this post, and just focus on one thing that wasn't even mentioned, classic, so, a bunch of women are in the post, in the, uh, on the post telling this post is dumb, this is stupid, she has a disease, her husband cheated on her, and she gained a bunch of weight because she was depressed. No, 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 that's bullshit, because I specifically remember when I saw pictures of them together, she started putting on pounds. He became less attractive to her, and he started seeing another woman because she was unattractive. Now, here's the thing. Women want to make excuses, but at the end of the day, Men are visual, and women know this. They know men are visual. Women are very aware that men are visual. This is not a surprise. It's not a secret. This is why when they're in their 20s, they always do things like wear low-cut tops, wear these booty shorts and shit. They want to go outside and show off and basically get attention. And All these Instagram girls are posting. You got Instagram girls literally posting shit and posing in front of cameras, making a living off men giving them money for dressing scantily clad. They are very aware that men are visual. Let's not play the stupid game here. It's just when it goes away, when the wall hits, when they hit the fucking wall, and you can't escape the wall, everybody, every female runs into the wall at one point or another. When they run into the wall, they change their whole entire way of thinking. But by then, it's too late. You don't have nothing to offer anymore. So now, nobody cares. Like, oh, yeah, it's all men are superficial now. But when you were getting a living and you were having money cash app to you and expensive trips were being paid for, your car was being paid for, repairs around your house were basically free, basically because you're just attractive. That was cool back then. You know, men being superficial was beneficial to you, but at a, you know, when it stops benefiting you, then you complain. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Live it how you get it. If you get him paid, hey, and I don't have a problem with hypergamy. I don't have a problem with women being uh, superficial. I think it's perfectly fine. Everybody should have a preference, I think. I think women are allowed to be superficial. I think women are allowed to be hypergamous. I think everybody should be whatever they decide to be when it comes to your preference of dating. What I won't sit up here and have you do is live a lifetime of thinking one way and change it at the last minute 
when you've lived the whole life thinking like that, when you can't do it anymore, when it's no longer convenient for you. I don't want to hear that shit. Nobody wants to hear that shit. It's bullshit. So that's pretty much what I had to say about that. And, uh, and uh, there's a guy who went, uh, he started doing a rant like last week. I wanted to do a post on this shit, but I found out the guy was a racist dickhead. So motherfuck that guy. But um, his points were pretty valid at the time when I listened to it. There was a short guy in the bagel shop. I think he was like five four or five five or something like that he was a short dude and he was bald-headed you know he was typically women wouldn't find a guy like this attractive by just looking at him so this dude goes on a rant like he went on a tirade rant isn't even the word my man went on a, a tirade about how women are, are, are fucking dickheads and shit and how women are superficial and how no woman will give him a shot or they all look at him like he's a piece of shit because he's short you know, women who are taller than him don't want to date a shorter guy. They don't want to date a bald guy. They don't want to this and that and this and that. And he basically went on a tirade. And dude was right. I mean, dude was accurate. Like, yo, my man, no, I have never heard in all my years of being alive, a woman say they would date a shorter guy that wasn't rich or famous. No, it doesn't happen, yo. It's just not genetically. Women don't see that as genetically superior. And instinctually, from um i want to say nature's programming women are women are looking for like the most um physically capable men to have children with or socially acceptable the reason there's two things playing out here i think the first thing is nature of course you're looking for a guy that's a certain height because you want your son possibly to be a certain height or you want your son to be healthy with a strong jawline attractive looks it, it basically subconscious subconsciously symbolizes health um attractiveness basically so um subconsciously women are looking for a healthy men so that plays into nature i think now it's also partly nature but it's partly social construct as to why they're looking for um uh, men with money or status because let's be real here society has basically created a capitalistic country you know, women want men who are famous and rich because that's a form of social accept acceptance, which is partially nature. And then two, it's a form of um, basically like currency. You know, if a guy is rich or what have you, he can provide. He's a provider that falls back under the same category. So it's, it's kind of nature and it's kind of social programming. So I think it's both. A woman who's looking for a guy, she's willing to settle, uh, settle for a guy who's not tall, maybe, who's not like really muscular or doesn't have a six-pack abs, but this dude is the director of CNN, or this dude owns the, the Dallas Mavericks, or this dude plays linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, this is all, these are all scenarios where she'd be willing to settle for a guy who's like shorter or, or whatever. Whatever he does that makes him less attractive, she's willing to settle because he has more. I mean, is, there's two factors to play out here. So, I mean, yeah, I think it's interesting, but I think it's also true, man. But then on the same token, that's why I say it's partially a... Uh, uh, nature because you got some women who fuck guys who don't have any fucking money like I know a few that fuck guys that don't have shit don't have their own place own car own crib but they still get laid they still get laid regularly but they're these guys are also like tall muscular or, or decent looking or you know basically protect them in certain situations or environments yeah so I mean it, there's different factors that play out here man and this is all like this is all relevant all of this shit is relevant man so that's pretty much what I think about the whole thing. What do you guys think about the whole scenario? Do you think my boy was wrong or do you think he hit it dead on the head? And what do you think about the whole hypergamy thing? Is it a thing or is it not? Let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, I'm going to go in and shower and rest. Y'all have a nice one. Peace out.